Simon's got the task. And they race away then for the Toe Credit November Handicap. Shaft of light. Uh, expect him to be one of the front runners. Capilano Princess Close Dantesque is also in the firing line as they race up towards Rose Hill and it's Shaft of Light from Dan Tesk wide of the course Wafir is prominent Kawara towards the inside right up the inner is Sheer Danzig with Pin Chinchar they're racing up the centre of the trap but Shaft of Light is probably the overall leader as they take this slight incline over Rose Hill Shaft of Light then showing the way Sheer Danzig towards the inside Pin Chinchar up the inner as well not far behind Key to My Heart Dan Tesk is still following the leader Shaft of Light and then back in the field behind these Alazar with uh, towards the rear of the field at the moment, Spartan Heartbeat, Sabadila is patiently ridden out the back as is gone for a Burton and Arctic Owl, beginning the long left-hand sweep round the far end of the track, and it's Shaft of Light from Dan Tess with Key to My Heart following them up. Then on the inside is Sheer Danzig with Pin Chinchar close. Taunt is now in a very handy position. A black cap in about fourth or fifth place on that outside group alongside Celestial Choir. Ride Emo is just behind in the green jacket, and then Pin Chinchar towards the inner. Kawara next from Sheer Danzig, and then back in the field to Mata Mio. Uh, Sabadila improving a bit, Alazar in the midfield, then Capilano, Princess, Future Perfect in the leading bunch as well. But it's still the Royal Colours on Shaft of Light that show them the way towards their final turn. Dan Tess towards the outside, then of Key to My Heart. Taunt getting very much closer, breathing down their necks from Ridima and Pinchinchar on the inside as they swing the corner. Back in behind them is Celestial Choir, then from Future Perfect. Invermark staying on from the back with Alazar and Sabadila coming down the outside from Gonfra Burton and Capilano Princess, but Shaft of Light has skipped three lengths clear going down to the final three furlongs. Taunt in hot pursuit, then Dan Tess. Future Perfect under a patient ride from Richard Quinn is moving up on the inside. Will it get home? Sabadila charging run down the outside now in Sheikh Mohammed's colours. Shaft of Light there to be shot at. Sabadila, the big danger on the near side, coming home very strongly for Royston French. Then Future Perfect in third from Taunt in four. Inside the two, Shaft of Light is collared by by the lightly weighted Sabadila for John Gosden, who's thousands of miles away in California for decorated hero. Sabadila leads them home in the Tote Credit November handicap. Three or four lengths to Shaft of Light, Future Perfect, Taunt, Alazar and Invermark for racing towards the final 100 yards. It's Sabadila shifting right-handed under wearying legs in the closing stages, but going to win in clear-cut, decisive fashion. Royston French punches the air. Second Taunt on the near side of Shaft of Light, then Invermark followed home by Alazar and Future Perfect and Willie Conker and then back behind these Celestial Choir Ridder Ima who weakened from Wafir gone for Burton and Dan Tess Ho Express was next from Matamio and Key to My Heart who was up there early from Spartan Heartbeat and then behind these then Capilano Princess Arctic Owl disappointing Kawara Pinchinchar Fars towards the back and Sheer Danzig was last to finish well, a wide smile from Royston French, who only recently won his first group race at Newbury. And in the closing stages here in this Tote Credit November handicap, has won in impressive fashion on Saba Dealer, carrying only 7 stone 11, less Royston's very valuable £3 allowance. And uh, in the really testing conditions, he's uh, ground which horses can sink into. You didn't want a heavy weight on your back, and Saba Dealer has come home. A lightly raised son of Sadler's Wells, improving all the time. And a, a real boost for the John Gosden stable with decorated heroes, Breeders' Cup bid to come tonight. Uh, like a young Frankie de Tory, smiling to the camera, coming back there. He's the season's leading apprentice, Royston French. And let this Sadler's Wells colt find his feet. They went a blistering gallop, shaft of light, always up there. Looked as though he was going to win for a, a long way up the straight and then Royston French just brought this horse steadily but surely down the centre a long strong run came out a really convincing winner in the end John Gosden's more fancy 